does hurt and you like win. It's looking better. Look at that. That right there. Nothing but one is open. That shit open. Got to go to the airport pretty quick. So if you cut it open, it'll cook faster. Where are you flying to? Vegas. Wealthcon. Total domination. Going to wreck everybody. It's over. I feel sorry for anybody who's in there. Probably throw a couple people through a window. Who knows? Actually, people come to get thrown through a window. And they hear Andy Young speaking. They're like, I hope he calls me out. Dude, really, that's what people say. They're like, dude, I want you to call me out. I'm like, that's my boy. That's it. I love it. We're in an industry right now where people are ready to. Really, when I say get called out, I mean get called up. That looks delicious. I'm just starving, baby. Well, oh, he's recording you. Looks delicious. 97% lean ground beef. Right there, babe. Look at that. Oops. Definitely not a cook. You're a little dyslexic. It says 93% mm -hmm. But in my mind, I'm saying it's 97, so it makes me feel stronger. Or you can it's burn it delusion. You can burn it a little extra like you like, and you just burn everything out of it. So all the fat's gone. Mm -hmm. That's it. It depends on how you cook it. So here we are about to fly out to Vegas. We are walking next door. We bought the land next door, the land over here. We just bought this house, too. It's got to buy up the block. I love this view. There's a house right there. So this house you could see our house. So we said, we just got to buy that house. That way, you just buy the block. I don't want to attack you. I don't know. I don't want to attack you. Arriba, abajo, el centro, para dentro. Arriba, abajo, el cine, el cine. Arriba, abajo, el centro, para dentro. No, al centro. Al centro. Para dentro. Para dentro. No sé, one more time. Arriba, Arenjo, Ecija, Arenjo. It's close enough. It's close enough. When you're healthy, you take ginger shots. Most people are taking other shots in Vegas. We will get there. Then you're ready. I'm ready. With all our limbs and alive. If I can drive in Mexico, if I learn how to drive Max, I can drive here, trust me. Listen, when you run into the alley, you never know what's going on. We're literally heading over to a wedding. I'm not going to post this till after the wedding. Oh, dude, this is really good. You got to get this the Vegas chapel in here. Oh, oh, damn! Talking about in that text. Oh. Look at this, right here, dude. These are so crazy. Looking yeah, beautiful. Look at this. Let's go get married. All right, let's yeah. go get married, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Andy, what do you think about them getting married? I think that it's they're going to have more sex than they've ever had in their life, and it's oh, about yeah. time. Because now we got God's blessing. <laughs> I think he's been blessing it the whole time. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But I think yeah. he did need you to cross the, to cross the line. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Great. So, well, it looks very similar. We got married at somebody that copied y'all same shit. Wow. <laughs> I knew it. Oh. Let's go. I'm so excited. Just so cool. Tommy and Sarah are the best in the world. So to watch them all in love. Yeah, they were, they were, getting ready to yeah, like, yeah, take they're the they're knot. They're like me and Evan. They just they just like, they're 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 like, no. I do. Really okay. Put the ring on here. Yeah. Yeah. I do take Brendan to be my lawfully wedded wife. You're my wife. No, you're my wife. But you're my wife. No, you're the woman in this relationship. But you're a little bit more feminine. Brendan, you're, no, you're more feminine than I am. We just got married. Again, that's why I didn't invite everybody. For, I was looking for a congratulations. Yeah, everybody's like, why didn't you tell me? What? Because it was all about you guys. We were going to go have a wedding about all of you. And we weren't going to be able to do any of this. That's why me and her got married. We came down here and got married. We hang out at the pool for like a week straight. That's freaking awesome. Well, here's the deal. Best pictures on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You'll never remember the day. Absolutely. Or you're just doing it for everybody else. Well, you are doing it for everybody That's why I didn't have a quinceanera. Mm -hmm. I just had a trip to Spain and Italy. Oh, that's nice. My dad asked me if I wanted a quinceanera or a car. I said car. I didn't get either one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Thomas, do you take Sierra to be your lawful wedded wife? Most definitely I do. <laughs> Sierra, do you take Thomas to be your lawful wedded husband? To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful unto him for as long as you both shall live. Thank you. By the power vested in me by the wonderful state of Nevada, I am very happy to pronounce you husband and wife. Thomas, give your beautiful bride a kiss. <laughs> I actually came from an event. I was standing for like 12 hours straight. Mm -hmm. Did our worship service this morning. Had the pastor, it was great. You just smash it. Yeah, just redirect it. That's it. I mean, look dude, I, I love comeback people. I love comeback kids. I love overcomers. I love people that can overcome stuff. You know, people are always like, oh, this guy's passed. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Overcomers? Everybody should be proud of an overcomer. Anybody that can come back from anything, we should like be cheering on like hell. Not saying, you know, like people are like, oh, I wish it would change. And then when he goes to change, they're like, oh, you don't know what he did in the past. So it's like, what the f are you talking about, man? Like, do you want people <laughs> to win or not? Yeah. Like, what are you doing? And so I think what we're all doing is really chasing a lot of people that are lost, you know? And then we also have to make sure that we stay grounded as we go, you know, because there's a million distractions. But that's why we built an army. We called an army is because, like, we're around, like, like a, congregation and call it. They just protect you. You know, everybody looks out for everybody. Closest type of thing is, I could call it, it would be like a cult. I mean, they all have the same belief. They all, you know. Willing to die for it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you know, you know, or God, you know, you really would be willing to die for it. Like I ask people, I'm like, dude, if, if, if somebody said, hey, I'm going to kill your kid or it's you, which one? I mean, you would be like, me. Like, you wouldn't, like, you wouldn't, like, you'd go and get out of your mouth. Right. Well, if somebody's like, do the right thing or wrong thing, you're like, well, it's like, dude, you decide in advance, what will I die for, you know, and I think that, you know, we're all, as we get older, you know, some of us have been through some crazier shit than other people, but the ones that have been through the crazy ones, like, they don't want to go through that one. And so, like, they're just running around, and, you know, they're not hurt anymore. We're like, we have weapons. So we're looking for hurt people all the time, and we're trying to just, like, save them, you know? Just put them on a good path, you know what I mean? And, um... So it's cool. That's what I'm doing is I'm just outgrowing every mentor. You know, I spend about a million year, year in mentorship. I just pay for everything. Anybody that knows anything that I don't know, like I'll pay to know it. I write the check for speed quick. I want to know. Because once, if you know it, I'm going to learn it better than you. So I want to know everything that you're doing. I want to know how you're doing it. And then I'll put my own little spin on it. Or maybe I'll do it the exact same way you're doing it. At that point, once I learn it, I'll decide. Yeah, it's cool. And then my wife, she's my superpower. We stay really close. Um, I have a badass team. We have about 100 guys on our team now. 90% males, 10% females, probably 10 women, 90 men. Yeah, if they're, if they're suffering, right, I'm there. If there's a problem, I'm there. If they need money, you, you, you don't go to the bank. I give you the money. Yeah, yeah, so it's cool. It's like, it's a, it's a true cult, but for winning. Yeah. Start rapping. We should talk. Hey guys, if you're looking to take your life to the next level, whether it's you're making a lot of money right now, but you just look in the mirror and not really happy with who you are and you're like, man, I'm missing my edge. For some reason, I've got the achievement, but I don't have the fulfillment. Or maybe you're sitting there watching this and I'm teaching some education and you're like, dang, man, you know, I'm not hitting those numbers either. Whether you're a sales guy coming up, whether you're a manager or general manager and you run a company and you're the leader or you're the business owner, all right? I own my company and every day I coach and I train over 500,000 people around the world but I'm looking to do some one-on-one -on -one coaching with people who really want to become the world's greatest leaders, earn the most money, and have the art of achievement and the art of fulfillment. I put a link below in the description box. It's very easy. It's going to ask you eight questions. This guy's going to ask for your name, your phone number, and your email. And if you answer these questions and I look at it and I feel like you're the right person that I can spend my time with to scale and grow you, I'm looking to change the world with the greatest leaders. If you think that that's you, fill that out. And if you apply and you qualify, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. Hey guys, thank you so much for having me here. It's a complete honor to speak to you guys today. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Jacqueline Elliott. I'm gonna to speak to you today as a 
Andy Elliott's wife, as a mother, as a business owner, and just a little bit of everything. I'm going to come to you guys a little bit differently today. I'm going to speak to you guys from the heart. And I'm going to give you some invaluable information that has changed our lives as business owners and as people all together. Now, I don't know where you are in life. I don't know where you stand. I don't know if you work for somebody. I don't know if you started a business. I don't know how you are financially. But I'm here to talk to you guys about our journey and how we were the least qualified to make it. So I want you to start by asking yourself this question. Am I qualified to have a good life? Am I qualified to have it all? See, we were the least qualified to start a business. When we had an idea, we went and we had to go dark. A lot of people talk about going dark, but what does that really mean, going dark? See, a lot of times we separate family and business and we're like, you know what, I'm going to have to go and do this. And I'm going to separate my wife and my kids and I'm just going to bring them home a check. And they should be happy. And then you realize why they tell you when you, when you get home, you're not paying attention to us and they're not happy. Or maybe you were raised and you're the first person in your family to make a name for yourself. Maybe that's you. But I want to tell you right now, if you're looking for the perfect person right here that tells you, hey, I got my shit together, I'm not the right one. And you know what? We've all been through something in our lives. Something in our lives that we're not so proud of, but sacrifices that we had to make. And you think about now, what are the things that you usually talk about? Some of you guys pray to have it easy. Some of you, listen, just take inventory of your prayers. You ask God, hey, God, give me a break. Why do I have it so hard? You should pray for God to break you of your weaknesses and to be a badass. That's what you should pray for. Those are the things you're talking about every day. Those are the th all the sacrifices you made. Oh, remember when I used to do this? Remember, it's all the bad shit that you didn't want to go through at the time has made you excel and be a badass today. Why would we get rid of that? I wish I could give you my lenses. I wish I could give you God's lenses to see, hey, you know what? This is just temporary for you to be this way and use that pain as your strength to help other people. That's what you need to do. You can have it all. And self-love. Love yourself. Become the one that makes the most impact. What does that mean? You can't give your family everything until you love yourself first. My kids... I had to love myself first before my kids can look up to me and see me as their hero. Does that make sense? You have to love yourself. If you don't show your daughter or your kids or your son that you love yourself, how are they going to look up to you to be their hero? Love yourself first. You can have it all. Don't chase money. It won't last. It's not real. Give your family the love they deserve. Give your business everything because they need you. They need you. Now step up your game, go back out there, kick some ass, okay? Don't forget that, you deserve it. Every one of you in here, I need you to do me a favor, okay? Because I'm not gonna teach you, I'm not gonna preach. I'm not gonna tell you how to get out of here and live your best life unless you can think of a time that literally you didn't deserve grace. That, that identity, I was stuck there for 20 years. Listen, the play that you're currently running, the life that you currently have, is because of you. Even if I give you a new strategy today, even if I show you how to build social media to generate 100 million plus views every 30 days, even if I showed you how to build a culture like I have, 100 fire-breathing dragons that helped me build everything and I helped them build their lives, even if I showed you all of it, if your identity didn't change, nothing would change. Do you guys understand? There's two things that people do. Either one, they're running towards the life they want, or two, they're running from the life they hate. I ask every one of you to think about something you did that you're like, damn, man, no one would ever forgive me for that. God, if that had gotten the public, man, I wouldn't, <laughs> I would never be able to recover. I almost went to jail. Just tell every single one of you, I almost went to jail. My wife said she learned to live without me. I could tell my kids were looking at me. I wasn't their hero. I was disconnected. I was sleeping in the same bed with my wife. I was better than most. That's fucking poison. 
Better than most will be the most dangerous poison you ever drink in your life. I'm telling you guys, I only come here today, today to teach you guys all to be the greatest leaders on planet Earth. You guys want to make more money? Yes. Increase your value. How do you increase your value? Become something that's scarce. What's the greatest, greatest scarcity in this world? Leadership. In the family, in the community, and in the home, and in the business. You guys, who believes in God? Raise your hand. Woo! All right, we're going to say, we're gonna say a three-second prayer. Ready? God, please break me of my weaknesses. Everybody say it. God, please break me of my weaknesses. Amen. That is it. Every one of you in here has a weakness. You have something. There is something you need to kill off to get your new life. That is it. I know. I'm the guy that sat right here. Patrick Bed David said, future truth. What does that mean? That means, who do you want to be? How do you guys want to be seen? How do you see the world? What kind of money do you make? How much does your wife love you? I mean it, my wife. She's my counselor. She's my workout partner. She's my best friend. Y'all just heard her speak, right? Yeah. How was she? Yeah. I want to ask every one of you. God, God made you guys for community and communion, right? Yes. How are you to your partner? Do listen, if you want your partner to be a badass like my wife, I had to become a badass partner. She can't be one if I'm not one. And some of you in here, you want to make more money. You want your customers to spend more with you. You don't even spend. I'll bet at the end, Ryan will make it an offer. Come train with me. I'll teach you guys more. It's X amount. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, okay. Whoever can make decisions the quickest wins. That's it. Right here, I became a leader. What is a leader? A leader is somebody that self-leads. Look, dude, if I walk up to any one of you right now, do I want to look like you? Do I want to talk like you? Do I want to dress like you? Do I want to believe like you? Do I want to treat people like the way that you treat them? The way that you treat your family? Do I want to treat my family that way? Do you build me up to feel strong and feel great and make me feel powerful when I'm around you? Do you leave me better off than when, when you first met me after I meet you? If you don't do that stuff, you're not going to be my leader. Listen. You want to build an army? You want to, you want to put a, fence, a financial fence around your family in case something ever happens to you, they're in a good place? You better know who you want to be because if you don't, the world's going to tell you who you're going to be. That's step one. And every single one of you, I'm going to tell you this, there's not a bad guy in the room that can ruin you. The bad guy's inside of you. Okay, you gotta kill off that person. You have to plug into good information like the one I'm giving you right now, and you have to become the greatest leader on planet Earth. Step one of leadership, lead yourself. Step two, once you lead yourself, others will show up and want to be led by you because you've set the example, set the standard, and set the tone for what winning looks like. By the way, the quality of your life at this moment is because of the level of your leadership. Does that make sense? Okay, let's say it one more time. The quality of every single one of your lives in here will come down to the level of your leadership today. So if you want a new life, leadership's got to go up. I said the scarcest resource in this world is leadership. Leadership is a skill of influence. Who loves sales? Raise your hand. I'm a salesperson. You know what I do? I run the largest sales training company in the world. You know what we teach salespeople? You lead people when you sell them. Because you lead them to go from here to there. Am I right? You influence their emotions, their thoughts, their actions. That's what a leader is. Anything that can be taught is a skill. If someone's a good speaker, can you learn it? If someone can get in shape, can you learn it? If you're in here today with your husband, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your wife, and you see me hold my wife's hand, can you reach over and hold your wife's hand? Yes or no? Yes. You know what I think? I think God put some people on this earth, so, and they're not very successful, and they don't have the best marriages, and they're not changing anybody's lives, so we can see what it'll look like if we don't get our shit together. Listen to me, I'm gonna say it again. 
I think he put some people here that are not paying attention, that don't care, that literally don't want to learn any of this. They'll never have a bigger vision than themselves. They'll never want to be a leader. They'll never want to help other people have a better life. They'll never want to be the example for anyone. They'll never want to build a team. They'll never want to have their children choose them as a hero. They'll never want to give their, their wife the right of a lifetime and keep their fucking promise. They'll never do any of this. They're uncoachable, okay? They're arrogant, they're closed-minded. I think he put some of these people here on earth so that we can see what will happen if we don't get our shit together. I'm here to tell you, if you wake up today, everything that I have, I'm so fucking happy. I'm not even joking. I'm ready to die. I'm not even playing. If I was to die today, I have no regrets. Discipline's hard, okay? Regret's fucking hard. Discipline's easy. Make a good decision. I'm gonna be crystal clear with a lot of you. I said I'm ready to die today. I'm good, man. My kids look up to me. They wanna be just like me. I built a badass team. They're, I mean, I wanna keep going. I wanna go for another 50 years, but I'm telling you, if I die today, I'm good. I'm proud of me, I got a good heart. I have no darkness in me. My mind is focused, I own my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm financially free and I'm free in my mind. I'm close to God. Yeah, I, I cuss a little bit. The Pharisees, they didn't. They had the darkest hearts out there. Okay, my heart's good, I tell, the, I tell it like it is. I told Jackie, I said, it's time for me to recreate. And in, in the last four years, every day, I've stayed disciplined, I've done the work, I've been good to people, I make good decisions, I spend money on myself, I self-develop, I make bold moves, future truth, who I wanna be, I stay close to God, I, 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 I don't get civilized. Do you guys feel me? I would like all of you guys to make a decision today. Who in here wants to go through this? Raise your hand. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you guys this, listen to me. Jackie said, you know why people don't like themselves? is because they say they're going to do something and they don't keep their word. You guys feel me? Yeah. Guys, my name's Andy Elliott. I know you might have seen me on social media, okay? I've matured a lot in this last year. You know what I know? I know every single one of you guys are qualified for a badass life. You have no clue. I don't know what anybody's told you, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. If given the opportunity any time in your life to get around somebody that's doing better than you, write the check for speed, lean in, get close, and lastly, to finish with what my wife said, take your family with you. I love you guys. Let's go.